so that is the story doctor first topic porphyria you should remember today right now the second favorite mnemonic uh, favorite mnemonic which you need to remember <coughs> crohn's versus ulcerative colitis crohn's versus ulcerative colitis how will you remember the differences favorite question of the exam there should be some way exam hall you should not think oh is it crohn's oh is it ulcerative colitis you should not think so let us let us uh, uh, look into it how do you differentiate first to differentiate what you should know <coughs> transmural versus mucosal how do you differentiate is a very very important question <coughs> transmural versus mucosal ulcerative colitis tends to affect only the mucosa whereas crohn's is transmural how will you remember it in exam by whenever we say no mucosal ulcer mucosal ulcer bolte hain ulcerative colitis hota hai ulcer and it involves only the mucosa is what you need to remember but what is the exception when toxic megacolon occur toxic megacolon occurs in uh, ulcerative colitis so it typically will affect uh, all the muscular layers that is the only time where it will become transmural when it uh, forms the toxic megacolon is what you need to remember <laughs> now is only mucosa crohn's is transmural you can remember all the remaining things adhesions fistulas abscesses they are all the hallmarks of the crohn's disease is what you need to remember next second important difference how will you remember which between ulcerative colitis and uh, crohn's which shows the crypt abscess which shows the regular abscess you should know the difference already you know that regular abscess is common in crohn's just now we discussed the adhesion fistulas and abscesses are common in crohn's so regular abscess is common in crohn's because it is transmural obviously crypt abscess is common in ulcerative colitis is what you will basically remember so what is crypt abscess fundamentally there are crypts of liberkan and uh, in the crypts of liberkan there is a neutrophilic infiltration and those abscesses are called crypt abscess so what you should remember is generally abscess means anywhere we do the drainage but if it is a real abscess we do the drainage not for crypt abscesses so that is the reason crypt abscesses the, uh, these are not real abscesses that is the reason they don't require surgical drainage is what you have to remember whereas crohn's may you will have real abscess and they do not respond to the antibiotics so you have to do a surgical therapy that is what you have to remember so which is a crypt abscess once more tell me you will never forget in exam hall ulcerative colitis hota hai crypt abscess regular abscess rehta hai in uh, crohn's disease is what you should remember then the next favorite question of the exam favorite uh, thing that you should remember which is having a longitudinal continuity and which has skip lesions is an important question yes so the next important difference examiner will ask you is ileitis which is a regular ileitis which is a backwash ileitis in the case of the inflammatory bowel disease ulcerative colitis it is called backwash ileitis whereas in case of crohn's it is a regular ileitis so what is the difference so easy to remember where is ileum located so you have the duodenum duodenum uh, from the stomach you have the duodenum then you have the ileum and from here your large intestine is starting so basically if you look at the ulcerative colitis it is all located in the colon so 
it is only localized to the colon so a small amount of it goes back and affects the ileum it will spill into it hence it is called backwash ileitis whereas in the crohn's it actually skips from the colon goes into the small intestine keeps skipping skipping from the stomach until the mouth it will reach so it directly involves the ileum so that is the reason diarrhea malabsorption because ileal mucosa is damaged in crohn's in crohn's so diarrhea malabsorption real ileitis is what you see in case of the uh, crohn's disease uh, is what you need to remember <clears throat> very good albatross gelot many more uh, are online so the next important uh, difference examiner want to know between these two is where do you have lead pipe appearance where do you have string sign of kentor radiologically is the question by the examiner <clears throat> in ulcerative colitis we have a lead pipe appearance how will you remember it ulcerative colitis reminds you colon colon reminds you colonoscope colonoscope reminds you a pipe so lead pipe is what you see in ulcerative colitis is what you should remember whereas in the crohn's already we know it is a transmural inflammation it will get stricture there is a reason it becomes like a string so string sign is seen in crohn's lead pipe is colonic pipe is what you can easily remember then where do you see cobble stoning and pseudo polyps is the question of the examiner cobble stoning is a feature of crohn's how will you remember it already you know <clears throat> that crohn's will be skipping where do you need to skip you think life is all this miserable always need pg entrance exam and all no no just close your eyes relax and think oh the entrance is over need pg is over you became a topper you married a beautiful girl or a boy and you went to italy to have a, in the rome a honeymoon and you are walking holding her hand slipping and skipping on the cobblestones so that is the reason cobblestoning skip lesions typical of crohn's is what you need to remember if you remember skip lesions are in crohn's you will remember cobblestone appearance is also there in the crohn's is what you have to basically remember then pseudo polyps are there in ulcerative colitis how will you remember this very easy already you know ulcerative colitis has no real abscesses cryptic abscess cryptic cryptic means it is not real it is it is a secret so crypt is not real and not real means pseudo right so that is the reason pseudo polyps are there in the ulcerative colitis crypt abscesses are there in the ulcerative colitis skip lesions are there in the crohn's disease and cobble stoning is also because you are skipping on the cobble stones is the feature of the crohn's is what you can remember then the next question of the examiner next important question of the examiner ullas chandra raut and uh, many more who are online today very happy to see you all guys every day evening invariably we have a class from 5:30 to 8 pm and uh, until across all 365 days we have this session so tell your friends subscribe to the u medico annual subscription you take it you get mock tests all these videos archived and uh, quizzes notes opportunity to all these ppt slides will be available in the u medico app you can be able to bookmark it set up reminders and review and it will be a u medico is a complete companion for you for facing the neat pg exam and coming uh, as a topper so how will you remember which is bloody diarrhea and which is ulcerative uh, whether it is there in ulcerative colitis very simple ulcerative colitis only mucosal involvement because it's a mucosal ulcer we often say hey mucosal ulcer bleeds 
That's the reason a bloody diarrhea is a feature of ulcerative colitis. And in the case of the Crohn's already we discussed. Crohn's directly affects ileum. It leads to malabsorption and it leads to diarrhea. But it is not a bloody diarrhea like the one which you see in case of the ulcerative colitis is what you have to basically remember.